Do you guys know that Japanese are, are kind of crazy? <laughs> they come You're up with calling me crazy? crazy? Today I'm in Los Angeles' historic and very vibrant Little Tokyo, aka Japantown. This place has a very deep history and is one of the country's most significant Asian neighborhoods to date. And joining with me today is Kawaii Japanese TV show host in LA and actress Norissa. Hello, And one of the rising stars of the new hit Netflix show Terrace House, Eden Kai, aka Yusuke. Konnichiwa. Hey. And he's also a really, really good ukulele player. So we're gonna hit up some of the most symbolic Little Tokyo restaurants. We're gonna eat some food. We're gonna talk about Japan. How do I say Little Tokyo food crawl in Japanese? Little, little Tokyo, Tokyo Tabeareki! Yay! It's like a, the intro to a Japanese TV show. Los Angeles' Little Tokyo is actually only one of three current Japan towns existing in the United States right now. On to our first stop of the Little Tokyo food crawl. the most uh, special udon place in LA, Marugame Monzo. This is one of the most special spots in LA because they make fresh udon and they're cutting it right there. Eden, yeah. you are also known as Yusuke on a TV show called Terrace House. It's like the real world on MTV. In most American reality TV shows, yeah. we like a lot of scandalous things, but yeah. Terrace House, if you see it, you're just seeing people live their lives. There's no script. It's literally filming nah, people yeah. as is. And I also have to say, they pick very, very good looking people. Yeah. So no, not me, not me, not me. <laughs> Hey, that's a pretty cool grinder. Sugoi. 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 You got the cold sour plum udon. I have the mentai squid butter udon. You have the classic uni cream udon. Classic. Oh, <laughs> All right, this is too much, too much. Right. This is something that you don't see at a lot of spots. This is a soft boiled tempura egg. Oh, oh. <laughs> Letting you guys know that I'm not a udon master, but an average person, this is pretty good. It's pretty amazing. So this is really good for summer because it's really cold and refreshing and it has a punch or kick. Uh, of like plum. All right, that was just our first stop on the Little Tokyo food crawl, and we gotta get moving to the next spot. Our next stop on our Little Tokyo food crawl is a spot that's been here for over 45 years. I'm talking about Sohiro Cafe. We are here at Sohiro Cafe. This is actually one of my favorite and one of the few late night spots in Little Tokyo. Nice. Yeah. At nighttime, there are a lot of young people here. Yeah. Especially after 2 a.m. because it's open until 3 a.m. It's like a Japanese Denny's kind <laughs> of. So this one is Hayashi Rice. The beef Hayashi is like a Japanese take on a red wine beef stew over rice. I want to use a spoon? Yeah. This one but what if I don't want to use crop sticks? No. I, I got, look at how much I got with the chopsticks. You, you doubted. Hey, you doubted. Yeah, you. Very deep, beefy flavor. I like that. So soft, like the meat is like, mm, this is so good. Look at this pipe. It's got egg, onions, pork katsu. All in one. I feel like even if you didn't grow up Japanese, you still feel the home style cooking, you know? And what are you trying to do nowadays? I'm just suing up music. You're looking to be a pro ukulele guitar player. Plus singer songwriter. You're just like, yo, I'm a cool musician guy. I think you're obviously, you look at, just look at that uh -huh. smug face, look at that. <laughs> That's how you get the check in Japanese. So we just had some homestyle Japanese food, but we are going to take it up a notch to get some kind of fancy Japanese food here at Gazette. Let's go! Starting off, everybody, we have to try the fresh tofu sampler plate. 
This has three tofus. So this one is a black sesame and you can enjoy it with the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And this one is yose tofu. This is a homemade, like their like homemade. Plain. This is plain probably your plain regular tofu. Yeah. This one is a dashi tofu, creamy tofu, creamy tofu. Mm. Roasted green tea salt, salt here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this green oh, tea salt. We have to Mm. Mm. It's a little mm. bit crunchy, right? Uh, it has a spiciness from the wasabi, the saltiness from the soy sauce. It all blends in perfectly. It is. Ice cream. <laughs> It is like ice cream a little bit. So here we have some fresh fried garlic shrimp. That is not your average garlic shrimp. No, 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 no. Oh my god, so good. Yo, we just found out that one of the secret ingredients to this garlic shrimp What is it? Is orange juice. Orange? You're joking, that's, right? That's orange why, juice. Yeah, what? That's why it tastes kind of Yeah, it had like this citrusy kick and I think orange there's some juice? spices too. Was this even better than the garlic shrimp on Terra's house? Don't get mad, but yeah, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the triple salmon. I love that onion sauce that's on it. Oh, what's up? Oh. I snuck it in there for you. You oh didn't notice. God. My bad, it was on accident. I'll put more wasabi. Is that okay? I, I'll, hey. do it. I'll do it. Let me help no, you. No, no, no. I got this a lot of wasabi. Why? Let me help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go. I can take it. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Pretty sure about that. I just pulled it all the way up. It went all the way up. <laughs> so now we gotta head over to the famous Japanese Village Plaza because that's probably one of the biggest attractions in Little Tokyo. This is our first stop in the Japanese Village Plaza. Narissa, where are we at? Mitsuru Cafe. We've been uh, in business uh, for almost 50 years and we're, we're known for the red bean cakes. These are the Imagawa yakis. Mmm. Good? It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I know it's hot. Uh, so that's why you don't want to eat it. <laughs> it's really good. It's really fluffy. We're already snacking, but let's keep it moving. So our next stop is the company that's responsible for probably blowing up this item to the globe, which is Mikawaya Mochi Ice Cream. Let's go. Yeah. Three of your classic flavors and then three more like newer yeah. experimental flavors. Here we got seven delicious mochi ice cream flavors. Now mochi ice cream is actually an American invention by Japanese Americans. So I have a uh, green tea, black sesame, strawberry, plum wine, cookies and cream, butter pecan, and mango. Mm. Oh. It's good. Okay. I might have to say this plum wine is pretty good. Remember it's we had that good. plum wine udon earlier? Mm. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Honestly, plum wine too. Like, plum wine yeah, was kind of yeah. cool, right? Cookies and cream. Okay. Cookies and cream. <laughs> Not mad at it. We're making our way through the Japanese village plaza. Let's keep on moving. It wouldn't be a complete food crawl if we didn't hit up the Nijia market. Let's go. <laughs> Do you guys know that Japanese are, are kind of crazy? Nani? <laughs> they come You're up with, calling me no, crazy? <laughs> they come up with like really interesting. I, th I think they just think very differently. I think that's what I mean. Oh, this is the, we're going to call this the Miso Museum right here. Miso Museum. All the miso, different miso. The Japanese drink section. This one, I grew up drinking this a oh. lot. Yo, this so is like a, sweat. Yeah, you don't understand. Like, if you call something sweat, like, that's not appealing. <laughs> that's not a drink that you want to have. It's the original name for Kokiko. Cow piss, yeah. yeah cow piss. Like if you were a Japanese sense. chicken, how would you sound? Kokiko! Kokiko! The Nijia market was dope, but we gotta keep it moving. Oh, this is. This is Japanese? Oh, I never tried that before. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. I have just bumped into Roy, who is the owner and founder of Japanese LA streetwear brand that's based out in Little Tokyo, Japangelis. Yo. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! Because that's kanji, right? Yeah. yeah, they have like different colors going on in the nice. Angeles. If 
you ever come to Little Tokyo in LA, you should definitely check out the Japanese Village Plaza. And maybe it's like a good place to take someone out on a date. So for the last stop in our Little Tokyo food crawl, we are hitting up Weller Court for Midori Matcha. Get your matcha on. Right now I have the matcha coconut drink, I have the matcha latte, we got the matcha croissant, the matcha eclair, matcha Neapoli ne Napoleon. Napoleon. Why is that so hard? Napoleon. And then we got the matcha puff. So the thing is about the matcha that they use here, this is like top grade, like ceremonial matcha. Wow, this is really good. Mm -hmm. This is not like too I've sweet. I've never, but... it's not too sweet. It's like imperfect. Matcha cream. Yo, how's that Napoleon? Napoleon and Lurie taste matcha. Much, much matcha. Much, much matcha. Yeah. Much matcha. Super. It's a lot of green tea, green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. This is a uh, coconut green tea. It tastes like organic. Like, like it is organic. It's yeah. like organic. That's like when you drink this, you feel like I'm so healthy. Like, oh, I got that vibe. Like, yeah, I just, I just it tastes healthy. Yeah, it right. Yeah, got it. The matcha movement. Okay, everybody, that wraps up our LA Little Tokyo, aka Japan Town food crawl. In the comments below, please let us know if you want to come to Little Tokyo and which spots you would hit up after watching this video. All right, everybody, check out Eden Kai. He's also a really good ukulele player, and he's on Terrace House. And we got Narissa Suzuki. And how we're gonna say bye in Japanese is. Till so next time, we out. Peace. Oh my. Woo. Woo.